Hey guys, it is time for the very, very best nail mail of the entire year. So, this is what Abby and I are sending each other for the month of December, which is also the month of my birthday, and also the month of Christmas for those who celebrate it. I technically don't, I am Jewish, but um, the spirit of Christmas is a beautiful thing, and I am all about sending my good friend a Christmas gift. So. Her birthday's in June, and as I said, mine's in December. What we usually do is twice a year we do bigger boxes, so they coincide perfectly. Halfway through the year we do a big box to celebrate her birthday, and then halfway through the year we do a big box to celebrate both my birthday and Christmas. So it works out. I have some stuff here for Abby. Most of it is actually not nail polish. Our whole thing is nail mail, but the majority of it this time is makeup. And I guess I'll just get right into it and show you guys what I have for her so I can wrap it up because I'm afraid I'm going to eat the C's candy if I don't get it wrapped and boxed. That's a very real possibility. Okay, so first we have two sleeping kitties. I'm not sending them to her, but the top one is Fred and the bottom one is Jupiter. Those are my fuzzballs. And then up here I have two of these little candles from Bath and Body Works. This is Cinnamon Frosting and this is Merry Cookie little assorted box of C's candy and two milk chocolate Santa Clauses, one for her, one for her boyfriend. Over here we have the nail polish, so I'm just going to show it to you. This is an empty box that came in this. This is an Urban Decay polish called Addiction, and it is a shimmery green with kind of coppery flex in it, so I thought it'd be good for the holidays. And then this one here is by Whimsical Ideas by Pam. It's called Under the Mistletoe. I love her labels. And in the bottle it doesn't look very special because it looks so dark, but it's actually sheer, so if you put it over white, the glitters look like sugar sprinkles. I cannot wait for her to try that. It is so pretty. So I don't know if you guys can can tell, but yeah, I didn't swatch it because it's not mine. Um, here we have a Z palette, an empty Z palette that holds nine eyeshadows. Those eyeshadows are right here. I went a little crazy on the Makeup Geek website. Um, back when I started shopping for myself for Makeup Geek, it was all because Abby had said she wanted to try them. So I got her this blush called Romance, and the blush I got in its own container, so she can depot it if she wants to. And these are some extra magnets, but the Makeup Geek pans are actually magnetic, so they don't need those magnets. Don't use them to cover up the names. So we have Hipster, Brown Sugar, Bleached Blonde, Shimma Shimma, Vanilla Bean, that's the top row, um, Unexpected, Country Girl, Latte, and Glamorous. Nine fit in the palette, so she got nine. So that's those, and then of course I just showed you that. Little Bath and Body Works Christmassy Pocket Back. This Christmas ornament is so cute, you guys. It's a little tiny mailbox that says Merry Christmas 2014. And we send each other mail every month, so I thought that was perfect. The Urban Decay Pulp Fiction Palette. Oh my goodness, it's super duper pretty. I love mine, and I thought she might like one too. So it comes with all of these colors. Oh, it comes with a brush. I wonder, I wonder where my brush is. I should look for that one and turn this video off or turn off the camera or whatever. Um, Ocean Salt by Lush. Charity Pop by Lush. It's Raining Men Honey Scented Body Wash by Lush and a little sample of Honey I Washed the Kids Soap. Really little sample. They were not generous at all with that sample. And finally, a Makeup Forever Eyeliner in M60, which is a brown. So, that is an overview. It actually happened a lot more quickly than I thought it would. I thought that was going to be a much longer video. So, since I want to kill a little... Well, I didn't put the part where I get her stuff, I guess. But let's check my Pulp Fiction palette. That sounds like fun. Let's turn the light on so you can see everything. Yeah, is there a brush in there? There is a brush in there. Who knew? I've even used the palette a little, but my brush has gotten no love whatsoever. Yeah, I seriously did not even know there was a brush in there. That's how oblivious I am. For anyone who's curious, here's my drawer of Urban Decay palettes. I think most of them are in there, but I have more in there. That's all Urban Decay palettes, too. Because I'm nuts. And that's not even all the palettes I have. I've makeup, 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 makeup. But yeah, I'm probably going to be sorry that I added all of that because, like I said, I still have all the stuff to show you when I get my box from Abby. But 
there you have it. I guess I feel like I'm vlogging even though I have to make a video for today. So I'm just going to go because this, this is all just getting weird. But I'll be back with the portion where I show you what Abby sent me. So stay tuned for that no matter how weird it all gets. My nail mail from Abby has arrived. Holy heck, you guys. So originally I was thinking I might film this part of the video over there. See, over there with the vanity table. That's usually where I set up with the tripod. And then I figured I'd have both hands free and I would have my lighting and it would be fantastic. But I got a little bit paranoid because I have so much amazing stuff here that Abby sent me for the month of December for my birthday and for Christmas that I'm afraid if I sit over at my vanity and have two free hands and lighting this is going to be like a half hour video. So I'm going to try to get through it relatively quickly but I still want to show you guys everything. Um, no it is not my birthday yet. My birthday is the day after tomorrow. No it is not Hanukkah yet. Hanukkah starts the day after tomorrow as well. And clearly no it is not Christmas yet because Christmas is in 11 days. But I got my box from Abby, and she got her box from me, and I just couldn't wait. I kind of tore in to everything that she sent me and opened it all, so she opened all of hers too. So now it's safe for me to upload this for you guys, which is super duper exciting because it's a really fun time to start the holiday hauls. Woo! And my birthday hasn't happened yet, so those things will be separate, but the Abby video is always its own. Yeah. Gosh, I hope I'm in frame right now. I feel like my hand has been sinking the whole time I've been talking. Let's go ahead and do this. So first there's junk food, which I ate most of. There was Hello Kitty cotton candy in pink vanilla and blue raspberry. It's empty. There was birthday cake M&Ms. They're empty. This is all just, this came yesterday too, you guys, FYI. I really handled. Russell Stover, a little box of four chocolates. Empty. Brookside dark chocolate pomegranate. There's still some left in there. I didn't kill them, but I worked on it. And then there were nine peeps in here, and there are seven now. So I got into those too, but yeah, I ate a little bit of everything. Abby sent me a copy of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation because, believe it or not, you guys, I've never seen this movie. And she says it's her favorite Christmas movie, so I have to watch it. She sent me a sample of Origins Ginseng eye cream. She says this is her favorite eye cream and it's amazing, so I'm really excited to check that out. Oh, and my nails are thermal right now. See how that one's got a little bit more darkness? This is Knox by Digital Nails. So yeah, Ginseng by Origins. Um, and then she sent me so much amazing stuff, I like don't even know where to start. I'll start with these. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color in rich red. Looks really pretty. Um, e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator, which is also really exciting. Uh, she sent me this Dior set, which is right there. I took it out of the box because I did plan ahead. There's a really sad thing, though. This beautiful tiny little compact, the latch doesn't catch. It won't close, so I can't travel with it, which when I first saw it, I thought, what a fabulous little travel set of eyeshadows by Christian Dior. This is the first Dior product I've ever owned in my life, but unfortunately... It won't, it won't latch. It just flops all sad like. So I can't really travel with it. But it's still super pretty. And it came with this mascara. Um, there's just kind of like a pile in front of me here. Nail polishes, both by Lacquer Lust. This one is called Poison Ivy. Really fine green glitter. This one is called Forbidden Fruit. And it's a really fine red glitter. Yeah, absolutely beautiful together in a Christmas manicure. This is by Different Dimension. This is called Don't Be the Santa of Everything. It's a really random name, but it's got red and gold and green circle and square glitter in it. And again, my camera's wobbling and floating. I really hope this footage is usable. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh, check it out. Where's the front of the bottle? Where's the front of the bottle? There we go. Wicked Polishes, you guys. These are Wicked Polish. These are like two of my OG lemmings. She totally crushed them. Pox and Gangrene. And they both are Crellies. Both kind of. This one's like whitish with orange and pink. And then this one is like a more yellowy green. And they're so freaking cool. I'm so beyond excited about those. I don't even know what to say. And then there's more makeup. 
There are more lipsticks. A NYX Matte Red in Bloody Mary. I love that name. I'm excited to try that one. Because I had told Abby I wanted some, um, some red matte lipsticks to play around with and try out. And I told her I wasn't too sure what brands and I didn't know what was good. So she sent me a little bit of everything so I can just play with them. This one is by Maybelline, and it's weird. The tube is purple, which really throws me off, but the lipstick is called Siren and Scarlet. Getting good at this. And it looks like that. It's pretty red. So I don't know why the packaging is purple. But there's that. Um, and then she sent me this cute little tart set. In here, there's a blush in Mirage. So pretty how they have this foily stuff on the holiday ones. And uh, this is a cheek stain. It's like a bronzer. I think it's called Tarte Fantasy. So it's just like a cream bronzer. And that's what was in there. And then Lorac. Oh, Elf. Let's do the Elf stuff first. Let's see if I can get this open. My cat's crying out there because I have the door shut. So sad. Oh my gosh, she's crying. Okay, this is a blush set from... Elf. It might help if you guys can see all four colors. That's that. <clears throat> and then there is this Lorac Summer Palette, which also, let's see if I can get open. There we go. I'm getting so good at this. I'm going to ruin something one of these days and be really sad, and I'm going to do it on camera too. But there is my Lorac Summer Eyeshadows from Abby. And then her boyfriend sent me the Lorac Pro Palette. Oh my freaking goodness. So it's got this little thing of Lorac eye primer that I've never tried before. And I know I love Lorac's shadows, but I do not own this. This is the Lorac Pro palette in all of its glory. And yeah, I know that's old news. I know there's like a Lorac Pro 2. Ooh, I'm really going to mess this up. There's a Lorac Pro 2 and there's also like a Mega Pro or something where it has like both Pro palettes together. What did I do? Okay. Anyway. Enough of that. Enough obsessing over the makeup because if I ding it, I'll just smooth it out with a brush anyway. But yeah, so that is... Look at this, you guys. We're all zoomed in. I hate when it does this. If you guys have been like majorly close up on my face this whole time, I really apologize because the camera won't let me zoom out and I don't know how long it's been zoomed in for. This is why I don't use my flip. Anyway, the point of this is just look at all the gloriousness that is on this bed. Now I'm like super paranoid to hold the camera too close to my face because we're way zoomed in and like I said, I don't know how long that's been the case, but I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thumbs up for Christmas slash birthday haul videos and comment below with what your favorite thing was that I sent to Abby and that she sent to me. And again, if this camera is like zoomed in like right on my nostril or something, I'm super duper sorry, but I need a new one. So if any of you want to buy me a birthday present, kidding. Have a good day, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.